Hey everyone, it's Nikki aka NickVishaw3. In this video I'm going to be showing you what I'm packing to go on a little fall superior hiking trail trip. It'll be three nights and uh, I've really been trying to lighten my load. Alright, so in my previous video I showed you how to write down all of your gear and its weight in um, Excel. So this is taken directly from Excel and I made a uh, specific packing list for this trip. Um, so just as a, a quick summary already, um, I, I've had a lot of trouble trying to reduce my weight and I finally got it down to 25 pounds at this point, uh, base load. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through the list and show you what I've got. Um, so beginning I just have a mini carabiner which is attached to my whistle here and I'm going to just list off a couple of the weights, not really, they're real small stuff. Now I've got a, just a regular carabiner, small microfiber towel, I'm not bringing the case because that weighs an ounce and a half itself. Um, now I've got some prescription here for allergies and uh, let's see, ballpoint pen for the map, super glue, uh, my bowl, spork, Iodine. Now this is something I've been having trouble with. Uh, the bottle itself weighs an ounce, but it's also small. Um, and I was really trying to find somewhere else to put it because I don't have any small plastic bags. Uh, so I think I'm just going to leave it in there, but it's kind of frustrating trying to find something else to put your iodine tablets in. And we're going to have a filter on the trip, but uh, it's that's, that's more of a backup. Uh, Compass with lanyard, map, uh, 40 foot of paracord over there. Um, I've got vitamins and ibuprofen. Um, I just put them all in here. Uh, first aid kits. Now, I used to have a six and a half, seven ounce first aid kit, which included scissors, tweezers, and a little booklet. But I took all that out and uh, pretty much packed it into here. I've got most everything in here. I took out uh, a moist towelette and uh, one or two other things I don't really need. But I got most of the bandages in here. At least one, uh, one size of each. Um, duct tape. Oh, yeah. So I, I wrapped uh, half an ounce of duct tape on here as well. I'm planning on doing it somewhere else, but I haven't figured out where I want to put it yet. Uh, as mentioned before, I got my whistle, uh, flint with striker, uh, platypus bottle as a backup. Um, so I'm going to bring two plastic bottles. Uh, that I'm going to try and find some Aquafina bottles that are a liter each. Um, so I've, I've yet to get those, but that should come out to be, be less than two ounces for both. A Nalgene bottle weights eight ounces on its own, so that's not very uh, smart to bring along. Sunscreen. Um, another medicine bottle. Uh, it's 2.8 ounces of sunscreen. The whole thing of sunscreen is something like eight, eight, nine ounces, and that's not even a full bottle. So I just put it in there. Uh, I've got a little button light. There it is. Um, back up and it's red flashlight headband so I got my Phoenix flashlight here with two alkalines I might switch it out with lithiums if I can get a hold of some before the trip um, and I got the head uh, the headband so I can make use it as a headlamp uh, my low pro case which I use for my flip which obviously I'm using for recording uh, bendy tripod I was kind of debating whether or not to bring this, but I used it a lot last year, and I'd really like to have it. It is four and a half ounces, uh, which is, it's it's relatively substantial. Um, but I also figured that uh, I fixed the top here. You can see in some of my older videos, when I've got some aerial shots, it's pretty wobbly. So I just super glued that in, and I'm really hoping that's going to fix that problem. Alright, kind of on to close now. <clears throat> got my Under Armour balaclava, uh, the wool hat liner, 
wool glove liners, wool fingerless gloves slash mittens, um, three pairs of wool socks, uh, still kind of debating if I should bring two or three, but might as well bring three. Uh, mid-weight polyester long john bottoms. Um, this is my wool long sleeve shirt and my, uh, yeah, here's my polyester long sleeve shirt, which I'll probably wear on trail for the most part. Then here's my heavyweight 300 gram, um, polar fleece jacket. And I've got two pair of microfiber boxers here and a silk, um, top. And then also my pants with a belt, uh, zip offs. And that's that's about it for clothing. I've got a uh, rain jacket as well. Um, otherwise, I'll also have my hat cam. And I think that's it. But uh, the temperatures looks like it's going to be between 30 and 65. So I'm uh, that's not including wind, wind at all. So I'm going to try and be a little err on the side of caution on this one. Okay, uh, so I'm actually going to bring a tent for this one because it's going to be group camping and uh, we we really need two tents. So uh, it's also going to be save me one or two pounds on weight because I'll be splitting the tent up with somebody. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It, I'm not... Uh, It'll be, it's, <laughs> it's been the first time since I've uh, slept in a tent for a long time, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. But, uh, also for sleeping, I just got a new sleeping bag, uh, Marmot Trestle Zero Degree. Um, I used it once so far, uh, it got a little damp around the head portion, so I'm a little worried about that, not too much, that was probably just me snuggling inside of it, really warm, and got down to 45 that night, which isn't anything at all but it was really toasty and then I've also got this uh, regular um, solar pad by Thermarest that's 19 ounces it looks a little heavy pretty bulky um, I decided to go with this one instead of the solar light uh, which I believe is 11 ounces but I'm planning on using this for some snow camping as well as my new bag now I'm gonna try and wash and uh, reloft my old 20 degree bag uh, if I had done that, I may have brought that on this trip, but I haven't gotten around to it. Um, and the last time when I used that, I was pretty cold. So, again, erring on the side of caution, but considering weight. Cook kit. Um, I got a small titanium pot here. Uh, MSR Whisper Light with um, both the screens, the ground reflector and the windscreen and the fuel pump in here. Uh, 22 ounce fuel bottle. I will fill that up to about 20 ounces. Um, probably don't need that much, but uh, I, I've only used this stove on one trip. I've used uh, simmer lights a lot on other trips uh, with groups of me and eight other people, uh, but I'm still getting used to this stove. Originally, I was going to bring my uh, butane MSR pocket rocket, but uh, I'm not. Um, with it being group camping, I, I want to use something a little more efficient, and uh, I don't have as much fuel on hand. I've got a can of the white gas on hand, so. If it was a solo trip, I'd definitely use the pocket rocket, but use group camping, I'm going to go ahead and bring that. And I've got a larger pot and the lid here. Uh, those pots, 6.3 ounces for the large one, 4 ounces for the smaller one, and I believe three ounces for the pot lid, 3.3 ounces. Yep. Um, now, the big problem with weight is my sleeping bag and my backpack, which I can't do anything about at this time. If I were to use my other sleeping bag, that would be 67 ounces. Um, with the stuff sack. This sleeping bag, uh, yeah, this sleeping bag is marmot bag, 97 ounces with the sleep sack, with the stuff sack. Uh, so that's pretty substantial. Um, 
again, if I had relofted my my old bag, I might be using that now. But uh, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one. Um, backpack 80.7 ounces. You know that really surprised me. Um, with my backpack fully outfitted, it's 93 ounces. What I did is I uh, I took the top off this little day pack it's it's I believe it's 13 12 ounces on its own uh, I've, I've never thought twice about bringing this up I always have um, it's been very helpful it's been very useful you can just reach up and pull stuff out because this this pack really doesn't have any side pockets there's no hip belt pockets at all um, these water bottle uh, holders for Nalgene's is really bad design. We'll see how it is for other types of bottles, but for Nalgene it's terrible. And uh, there's a little side pocket here. Uh, again, when the pack is filled, you you really can't use that at all. Otherwise, there's no other outside pockets except for this one here. But I think I'm going to save those 12 ounces and uh, see how that goes. I've got uh, a duck back here. Backpack, backpack cover, uh, eight ounces. I haven't decided if I'm going to bring it yet. Um, I might just bring a garbage bag that'll probably only weigh two ounces. Uh, because you know, anytime it rains, you're going to get wet regardless. Um, the only caution is hypothermia. So I'm really, I'm, I'm trying to be conservative, um, but I am also trying to be safety oriented. And otherwise, I think that's pretty much it. I'll look down here. Yeah, I'm gonna. Have to, uh, the only other things I'm gonna bring is a couple paper towels, some TP, ID, and maybe a twenty dollar bill or a credit card. And uh, each Ziploc bag, gallon Ziploc bag, is 0.4 ounces. So. I don't know how many I'm going to bring, maybe two, three. Uh, I used to just throw a bunch in my pack and leave them in there, but again, I'm trying to be conservative. So I'm a little disappointed with 25 pounds. I was really hoping to get down to 20 pounds. Uh, but with the variation in temperature and with the current gear I have, that's about as best as I can do. For food, I'm thinking... Uh, probably one or two pounds for food. Probably about two pounds. Uh, again, it's group camping, so we're all going to be sharing a lot. Uh, it's just how it is. Alright, so I went over my base load, and I forgot to mention what I'm going to be wearing. Uh, I did talk about my polyester shirt, which I'm going to be wearing. And I didn't mention that I was going to be wearing those pants, but I am going to be wearing those pants and that belt. The other items are frameless sunglasses, uh, the SOG Flash 1, a watch, which is clipped onto my belt with a Night Eyes carabiner. Uh, so I already went over zip pants, be wearing one pair of boxers, my soda lighter I will be bringing and keeping in my pocket, a uh, hat cam I'll be wearing, uh, and then I and bring uh, a new item, a Cold Steel Pendleton Light. Um, I'll show you that in a second. And I'm also bringing my cross training shoe. So, this will be the first time I've gone on a backpacking trip without wearing boots. And I guess, I guess somebody, some people would say that that's a little, uh, a little intimidating. But you know, I'm I'm really looking forward to it because I weighed my boot two pounds for each boot, and for these shoes, it's one pound each. Which you know, that's it's gonna be a huge difference. My my boots are they don't breathe at all; they're solid leather Gore-Tex, uh, and these I think these guys are gonna be great. They're still a little heavy. Um, uh, they get pretty warm, but I I have a feeling that. At night, they're going to be pretty, pretty nice. Um, I was, I'm considering bringing my Vibram Five Fingers, uh, and I was considering wearing those, just, just wearing those. 
Uh, but again, with the temperature, I think we're going to want something a little bit more. And if I want to do some barefoot hiking, I probably will be doing that. Um, so, to pocket items, a soda lighter, SOG Flash 1, always have this, excellent, I use this, this is my EDC, um, for general. Then here is the Pendleton Light. Um, I have not used this in the field yet, I have very high hopes for it, I haven't heard really a bad comment about it. Uh, I think it's a three and three eighths inch blade. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's flat grind. I'm pretty sure it's a hollow grind, which I I it'd, it'd be nice to have kind of like a, a semi half spine flat grind. Um, but for what I'm going to be using, uh, maybe for chopping wood, probably for cutting food, uh, preparing lunch and uh, various other tasks. This thing's great, you know, two, uh, I believe it's 2.7 ounces for the, the knife itself. Uh, it's got a not, not full tang, um, just goes halfway, and uh, the sheath is 1.2 ounces, um, which is good. I was trying to think of a way to not use the sheath, but that's, that's pretty necessary. The only thing I'm not sure about is how I'm gonna carry it. Um, cause I'm a little wary about carrying it on my belt with, uh, having a hip belt. I've never, never, uh, carried a, uh, fixed blade on trail before. And this sheath, I, I really wish it was a, a plastic sheath that had, um, attachment points. But all I've got is this, this hip belt loop. So... Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and figure that out. Maybe I'll, almost considering like strapping it to my leg or something, I'd like to put it somewhere on my, my pack, on my, uh, shoulder straps, but I, I don't see that happening very easily without this bouncing around a lot, which I really don't need, uh, happening. But, uh, you'll probably see that on trip a couple times, and maybe I'll do a review of that sometime. Uh, really need to review this because I've I've used this for so long, uh, and it's just just really. If I were to recommend one knife for somebody to get as EDC, it's definitely the Flash One. Uh, absolutely a great knife. And I guess that's it for what I am going to be wearing and carrying. So I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'll have my video of the trip up in about a week. See you guys later.